Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel today we'll be continuing on more Hogwarts and let's get into it How kind of you to ask the name's Ackley Barnes and no it is not I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley he cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started hm. said I was too volatile to work with I'll show him volatile that must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. This must be it. This must be the cellar. How to find that venomous tentacular? Revelio. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me.
Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Rebellion. Completed that errand? For Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, to see the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. What do you have for sale? thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far.
I've completed my assignment, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of snooze Free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural.
Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grant. I will give you It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Defindo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not... I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Renoy. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious. Based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? I honestly don't know, Professor. At times, the future is murky to us all. As with rippling water, one must wait for things to settle before the reflection becomes clear. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I for one see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it! Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Descender! Excellent! I think you have it. 
<laughs> At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test. Outside of the classroom, 